So there I was, scrolling through YouTube like I often do, when I run into this comment of a guy casually cheating, comparing it to running keyboard and mouse. Bro, what? Now our protagonist today is a gamer named Evasive Upgrade. He said, TBH, I'm glad that the anti-suspension mod is a thing for PvP. Good it only works if you don't have the DLC too. We didn't pay for that shit. Why should we have to be affected by it in PvP when we didn't want it in the first place? Makes it a nice even playing field. Okay, and then when you read this, you're like, well, what are you talking about? Like an armor mod? You know what I'm saying? And that's what this guy asked. Wait, so what armor mod are you talking about that prevents you from being suspended? Evasive upgrade. Our protagonist goes, oh no, it's a client mod. I don't think there's an armor mod that does it. It's made by the same guy that made the anti-slow and anti-freeze mod during the stasis. Ah, so cheating. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. No. Cheating implies an unfair advantage over the other player. This mod simply makes it an even playing field. Now this is my whole thing. I understand what this guy is trying to say, but the, the core issue with his argument here, right, is that you are modding the base game. That is against terms of service. That is literally cheating. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> It's not like the mod makes stasis or strand not do damage, it will still do the full damage. It just makes it where suspension doesn't work on anyone in the lobby. So not only are you <laughs> not only are you making yourself immune, but you're affecting the entire game state. That sounds like some GTA 5 hacks where they just give everyone money or they give weapons to everyone's inventory. This just goes beyond anything that I imagined, bro. Now this saves my faith in humanity because Everyone in the comment section is basically flaming this dude, but this is extremely shocking to me. I had never heard about these mods before until this guy talks about it. I'm wondering if you guys have heard of it, so leave a comment because I, I didn't even know this existed. I still don't know if it exists. This guy could just be capping, he could just be baiting, I don't know man. The thing that makes me really believe that it's real though is how adamant this guy is. Like he, he just seems like the type of guy who's like, you know, average intelligence, pretty smart dude, right? He's decided to use this, and now he's using his intelligence to defend it. Because, like, these arguments make no sense, but they're very cohesive. They're very easy to understand, I guess you would say. Um, they're, they're, like, compelling in a way where it's like, if you read it, you're like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But if you really look at the words, it's like, dude, you're just spouting nonsense right now. As I've said before, cheating implies an unfair advantage. It's not a spin on anything. If you consider it cheating, that's your decision to be wrong. He's just delusional, that's the issue. Smart guy is just completely delusional. You will be detected and banned. Might as well wall hack and aim bot at this point. This is where he says the dumbest thing he said in his entire life. That's like saying playing mouse and keyboard is cheating because you have faster aiming speed capabilities over controller. It's not cheating. If it were, I'm sure the thousands of people that use it would have been banned by now since it came out during gentlemen. Beyond Light, yet no one has Got yet. Him. No, it isn't like that at all, since keyboard and mouse is intended for input. This is where I just completely lost it. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now, like I said again, I don't know that this mod actually exists. I've never heard of it. So let me know in the comments if you guys have heard of this. And I'm also curious if you guys consider it cheating. Am I just wrong? Is this... Is it like this guy said? Is it just evening the playing field? I have no idea. So I'd like to know what you guys think. Either way, subscribe. I post Destiny 2 videos every single day. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace, guys.